Hello everyone, welcome to Linden Hill. I'm Tish I'm going to give you a track guide of this circuit. A circuit you may well have seen in Top Gear quite a few times. But we're going to do this slightly faster than James May in this Honda Civic Rallycross car. So we're going to take a normal lap first, then we'll do the joke lap, and then I'll just show you uh, a third lap, uh, the brake marker into the first corner. Ignore any error messages that appear, it's just because of where we're starting for this track guide. Uh, but without further ado, let's kick it off on these three laps that we're going to do in three, two, one, go. First gear up to second, up to third, fourth, fifth gear, brake on the start of the race, just after you hit the gravel, and we're going to handbrake it around this corner. Try and take it as tight as possible. Get as close as these barriers as you can, but avoid hitting them because they do hurt. Up to fifth gear, as we hit Devil's Elbow, you're going to break down to third gear. Handbrake it round again. Try and use all the track on exit. Not too much more than that. Why'd you get a slow down? Up to this hairpin. Third gear. There you go. You see we get a slow down there because we ran two wides. Continue on all the same. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. Coming into Paddock Bend. We're not going to break. Fourth gear through this corner as fast as you can. And then we're going to hit the chicane across. There we go. And we start the joker lap. Break down to third gear. Try and take this very nice line down to second gear. Handbrake it through there. Oh, lovely jumply over the uh, jump there. And keep going. Fourth gear, fifth gear. Up to sixth gear for Devil's Elbow. We break. We'll do it properly this time. So we handbrake it. There we go. That's how you do it. Up to fourth gear. Up to fifth gear. Breaking for the hairpin. Third gear. You might have to go to second if the car starts to bug. You can just hear the car trying to bug down just as we go off the turbo. Up to fourth gear. Up to fifth gear. Again, don't break for paddock. Through we go. Lovely slide there. Up to fifth gear. Try and jump there as we do. And I'll just show you the brake marker just before the gravel this time because we're carrying much more speed than the start. And then through we go and take a tight line. So that's been Lydon Hill. I hope you enjoyed that little track, guys. Hello everyone and welcome to the Rallycross. I hope you enjoyed that track guide. As I just said myself in that previous video, uh, basically I did a live track guide for the live stream there uh, and essentially that was me rallying, rallycrossing as I spoke. So we've come to the round of 16 this is. We did do a round of 32 round in this event but because uh, we both went through I didn't really show it. So as you can see I'm leading the way in this uh, in this round of 16 at the moment in this in this group uh, and after last week's like sort of debacle with the uh, the you know the host settings and stuff and seeding um, I was quite happy to at least have the ability to race in this one you know and start in a good position for where I was seeded wise um, you may have heard recently that I'm stopping the rallycross which is true um, and I'll get onto that in the next video because obviously I've done another round and then that's my last round that I'm going to do. Um, but some interesting strategies that go on there. As we head to the quarterfinals, so starting on the left this time, common strategy here at Lydon Hill. Starting on the left, just go for the joker lap early on. You've got to be careful on this first one. So where in the track guide I said use the handbrake, you don't um, in this situation. Just because you've just got to get round as safely as you can, as you see both me and Wet Dog McCain do. We continue on uh, and now we've just got a three second gap. I think it was around three seconds the joker lap. This was a couple of weeks ago of course um, at Lydon Hill. So... I can't fully remember, but it's around three seconds. All I've got to do now is push, push, push. Uh, jump to lap number three. Quarterfinals, remember, three people go through. So at the moment, I'm very happy with second place. Just car driver R1 to go into the joker lap. Come into the first corner. This is why I love Lydon Hill. It's a good place to actually do some rally cross. It's wide enough to have some passes. And the joker lap, the way it comes on, it's a good place for some overtaking. It's a brilliant, 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 brilliant circuit. Um, so yes, we've got some cracking races coming up as we continue on with this final lap. We're just looking to get as close as we can to Car Driver R1, see what our pace is like compared to him, um, and see if we, you know, we can beat him in the later rounds. Continue on towards the last corner here, Paddock. Through we go. We don't handbrake it this time. Just going for a nice easy run through that last corner and then across the line. So we take uh, second place there, just off driver our one's lap time. We are looking for 37s really in lap times so as we go to the semi-final. Starting on the left again. So I am going to go do the joke lap. I'm worried in front that Darwin is going to do the same. But as you see, Darwin creeps there. Look at that. It's a 20 second penalty. So I know Darwin's out of it straight away. Coming to the Joe clap again. I'm going to take it steady initially. I get really scared because driver one gets close. Gets really scared again and he hits me. Uh, so that's lost my line a little bit. Come around here. Car overtakes because of that lost traction. Driver R1 hits me. Spins me right round. I'm trying now to get back on circuit. Because if there's a penalty given, I've got to still be as close as I can. 
managed to get round. I was furious at this point, absolutely furious, because he didn't have to hit me there. He's nearly hit me twice. Uh, sorry, no, he nearly hit me the first time. He hit me the second time, and then he pitted me on the third time. Um, I thought initially he hit me three times when I reported it, but it's just twice. Even so, we'll continue on. You can see we've caught up to the pack a little bit. Uh, Driver one's caught up to that pack as well, and there's a five-second gap. Uh, coming through this last corner here. Now, this gets interesting because if you look up ahead, Driver all one's going for a joke lap again. Now, in the rules, it says you're not allowed to do that. You get disqualified from the championship. I didn't report that. I just reported the, the hit because I thought the hit was unfair. Car Driver 1 lost it on the, on the chicane, which is why he went that way, but that... You know, sort of breaks rules, but even so, we don't report that. We just carry on all the same, and we just report the incident. So, with that incident, Driver R1 does get a penalty in the end for it, as we nearly hit him there, because he just ran a little bit wide. Um, he does get a penalty for it, because it's multiple hits. If it was just one hit, and I over-rotate the car on my own, I would say that's fair enough. That's my own fault, but because he nearly hit me, then hit me, so I, my line was off, I have to use the handbrake at that point to even make the chicane, um, and then he hits me again, that to me is fair enough, that should be a penalty, he's given a 5 second penalty, you can see I got 37.8 there, so I was the fastest guy on track, I was furious after that, we go to the final, look at that final, we've got Matty in there, uh, we're racing uh, the VP guys as well, this is a cracking final, you're going to love this race, um, as we get ready to begin, we're starting in the really awkward position, I was thinking maybe I should go for the Joker, maybe I shouldn't, because uh, my teammate's on the left, so we continue on, but look at Michael. Michael gets an absolutely astonishing start. Going into the first corner, goes behind Boxer. Uh, there's some pushing going on there. Ooh, is that fair in Rallycross? I don't really know, but we continue on all the same. So we're side by side with Boxer now. This is where the quality racing is. Coming into this left-hander. Look at this. We are side by side. Now, you're going to see slight, some slight contact, but we both know how to break that contact and we keep racing coming into the right hander um, we couldn't really do too much here I slightly over around the corner a little bit perhaps uh, now we've got Popsu on our right hand side cracking race so far coming into this right hander Popsu's got the inside line so I'm thinking oh go for the cut back but Popsu covers it well look at that unbelievable stuff Popsu into the chicane loses it a little bit so I have to slam on a little bit Boxer now comes on my inside takes that position from me oh this is some awesome racing into the right hander so now I'm looking to try and go on the inside just can't do it without touching Boxer continue on all the same got to worry about Popsu now because Popsu's gone for the joke lap the two guys behind us have also done the joke lap so Matty uh, and I think that is uh, Massa. So we continue on now towards the hairpin. Now, this is where I make a little bit of a mistake. So obviously we're racing Boxer at the moment, and Boxer's quick in, as you've seen by the tournament results, he's flying. I really should have stayed out here, but I, I played it, I tried to play strategically, and I played it wrong, so I'm going to go for the joke lap this lap, and I shouldn't, I should have stayed out, frustratingly, I should have stayed out. I go for the joke lap. So coming in here, once again, slowing down, I do the line a little bit wrong this time, but however, you can just see that that's how you should do it. Uh, continue out, and look, Popsu's just ahead because of that. I should have just carried on. So now we're racing Popsu into Devil's Elbow we go. And the left-hander, we're going to try and have to find a place to overtake Popsu. It's going to be hard. It's going to be really, really hard, but everyone's battling at the moment as we come towards the right-hander. You can see Matty trying to get past Massa. Oh, just on the inside. Obviously, I'm just trying to avoid contact there. Couldn't, you know, some people would have pitied Popsu there because it's side by side. I'm fair in this. I know it's contact sports. I'm going to be fair. Um, a fair contact to me is rubbing how me and Boxer were side by side, and that's rubbing. I don't agree with any pushing. And I don't certainly don't agree with pit maneuvers. Coming into this corner, get really close to Popsu. Popsu just ran a little bit wide. Continue on. Just lost a little bit ground because obviously we, we didn't want to hit Popsu. We're going to have to push ourselves down to catch up. You can see Matty and Massa having a cracking battle up front as well. So I know that if they have issues, I could get in. At this point of the rallycross, I know I'm still ra rallying all the stages at the moment. So I am going for as many points as I can here. So I'm continuing on. We've got two laps to go to try and overtake Popsu or potentially get closer to this Matty and Massa battle that's going on up front. Um, as I say, I was going to take the Joker on the, at the start with Matty and go behind Matty and try and do it that way. But because Michael got such a good start, I couldn't do that. So it was straight off the table and then it was instant battling. And to be fair, I had some cracking rally crossing in this. It was some great battling. Unfortunately, I've just lost that gap to Popsu. And obviously, everyone's very even on pace. So it's very hard then to catch up again to actually have the battle with Popsu uh, and then potentially with Matty and Massa. As you can see, they're still side by side. Continuing on, we've got one more lap of this final as we go towards Paddock Bend. And uh, we're still doing what we said in the guide. Very close to that barrier. Looking good. Through we go. 
through the chicane, heading towards the first corner. You just see Matty make the move on Massa there into the first corner. I just get slowed down there, not sure what that's about, but continue on all the same. Boxer's just done his joker, and that's where I would have come out, I think, if I'd have stayed with Boxer. But because I avoided the contact with Pops, who have come out behind, really, really, really frustrating. But even so, what a cracking rallycross event. I enjoyed that last final. That's probably one of my favourite rallycross races I've had so far. And you can see Matty and Massa still fighting up front. Look at this, side by side. Watch Matty now. Ford sideway through Paddock. <laughs> Oh, what a move. Oh, it's a fair play to Matty getting second place. Fair play to everyone in here. Um, I did apologise to Boxer a little bit for running slightly deep into there, but he said it was fine because obviously we were side by side there and it's very tight, that corner. And you see the lap times. I've got a 38.3 there. Um, not the best. Magic Michael with a 37.6. A fair play. Congratulations to Magic Michael on that victory. Hope you enjoyed that uh, event. As you see, I do save the replay, but uh, I'm running out of time to get these out, so I've not done that this time. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed that. There's another... Uh, there's a playlist there if you want to watch it. You can just see me describing it in the uh, in my video camera. Uh, my logo is if you want to subscribe. But I will see you in the next video.